I would slowly start to be able to train myself. Go, okay, you got hit. That sucks. But stay calm, your eyes open, breathe, cover up so you don't get hit again. Like, you know, just be defensive and work through this and then find a way to get him back. And that I didn't realize transferred over. And then one day we went to, we, we were hanging out one day and there was like a car, or so, something happened. I forget what it was. It was like a car accident or somebody got hurt or something. And it triggered that same fight or flight kind of anxiety you get when you get hit. And I watched everybody around me freak out and panic and not know who to call or where to go. And I felt like everything slowed down and I was able to go, all right, like you sit here, you do this. I'll call this person. I'm going to go check on them. I'm going to, and it, it really taught me how I could stay calm in a stressful situation. And that really helped in business because for people who are not doing real estate yet, there's days that just there's fires everywhere and there's people talking to you all crazy. And it gets very easy to let your emotions control you and say things you don't mean or get careless and reckless and make mistakes that in the moment could hurt your reputation, or your business in the long run. And I'm not perfect at it, but I've gotten a lot better at using that same skill of being able to sit back and, and control my emotions and try and stay calm in business. And you know, now, now on the on the jujitsu side of that, 